Hello everybody, I'm Peanut Butter Gamer, and welcome to my list of the top 10 most expensive games ever made. Just hold on a second, I gotta check my bank account. What the? Azara? Since when, since when are you a hot dog? Where did, where did, where did you get that costume from? Wait, what is that? A sack of gold? Where did, did, did you get, did, did you get into my credit card again? Did, did, did you steal my credit card? Luca, you too? A burger? What? Why are you a burger? Where'd you, where'd you get a freaking, what, how do you, you don't have money? Ah! How could, how could you? How, how could this be? I thought we had a thing, I thought we had, I thought we, I thought we had a thing. Uh, uh, I, guess, I guess not. I guess not. Well, there goes that idea. Guess I'm going to the thrift store to buy some games now. I'll be right back. And I say, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. Where you can learn to work and play and get along with each other. Hey! Watch it, you stupid fart! Get out the road! Shit! Hey, Pete! Alright, let's see what we got here. Up first is. This game. What's this? Ever Girl? Ever Sporty, Ever Style, Ever Party, Ever Adventure? All right! Adventure! Yeah! All right, I created my girl, and now we've got a namer. I often name my characters Peebs, or some silly variation of that. So, Peephony? You know, like Stephanie? Okay, no. How about Sarah? Funny. Sarah Fanny. I like it. After waking up from a strange dream, here is a simple question. What do you want to do with your life? Sarah Fanny gets an email from her friend, Emily, asking her to meet at the school soccer field. But before we go, we should have a change of clothes and why not a little hairbrush as well? Wait, what? She didn't brush her hair. It looks like she cut some of it off. And now she grew it back? I don't think this girl needs to worry too much about what she's gonna do with her life because she's clearly magic. Before we move on, I just want to point out how much I love these loading screens. No, not the way they look, and no, not the super cool words written in the background. Ever excellent, ever inspire, ever... whatever? Okay, I actually do like that one. I love how short they are! You walk from one part of the map to another, the loading screen pops up for a split second with the super catchy music, and then it's instantly gone. This happens all the time throughout the entire game. After a brief jog and a quick little game of b-ball, Just look at that grace! Just look at that form! I did my best. We make it over to Emily at the soccer field. What you want? Oh, nothing much, just... More players, someone to help the cheerleader choreography, someone to design the grade school spirit posters, and someone to take care of the school TV broadcast. That is a lot of things. That is a lot of things to need. Well, in the long run, we only need to do one, but we do have to try all the options before we can move on. I think the TV broadcast sounds right up my alley, so let's try that. We need to keep the camera on the ball, obviously, but according to the instructions, we also have to keep the camera on the sponsors to keep them satisfied. Now, I understand sponsors pay the bills, I get it, but this is completely ridiculous. In order to win this mini game, you have to not only keep your camera on the ball, you also have to move it directly to the sponsor one and sponsor two signs and hold them there for quite some time during the middle of the game and if you ignore them for too long these bars go down to zero and you lose oh what a beautiful game of soccer we have here emily's moving towards the goal and oh hold on just one second here make sure to sign up to loot crate with my link in the description below 
All right, I'm satisfied. After you try everything, you pick whichever activity you like best and then go to the mall to buy something for it. Seriously though? Not only do you want me to help you with your stupid broadcast, you also want me to buy a video camera to use with my own money? Do you know how much a good camera costs? This could set me back thousands of dollars. All right, well, I guess we got more Goodwill Games videos coming in the future then. Hope you guys like these things. Anything for you, my best friend Emily that I've only spoken to once. Oh wait, is her name Ashley? <laughs> I think I've been calling her Emily this whole time. And that's pretty much how the whole game pans out. You meet a friend somewhere, they need help, you try some things, you pick a thing, you buy a thing, and then you do the thing again. There's many games like creating a magazine cover. Which is great. A DJing game. Which is amazing. Stage acting! Okay, I can't even be facetious about this one. It was long and terrible. I hated it. <laughs> and photojournalism. You just take pictures of raccoons. Sweet. Although that's not all you take pictures of. Literally 15 seconds before it happened, I was imagining how much cooler this would be if I was snapping pictures of a UFO or something, and then a freaking alien popped out from behind a tree. I'm not making this up. I'm serious. Now that we're done with all that, we can finally go to camp and compete in the Iron Girl competition. Which is apparently a thing we wanted to do. Or excuse me, Sarah Fanny wanted to do. Gotta make that clear. Here we go! Ugh. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Oh, come on! Freaking move! Freaking move! Oh, come on! Get out of my way! 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 Oh, oh. I didn't even hit that! Emily is the one who talked me into this stupid... I, I, I don't even know I talked to her. Congratulations! You've chosen well! Remember, it doesn't matter the path you take, it's that you've decided what's right for you. And that is the story of how Sarah Fanny became the Iron Girl! Oh wait, is it the Golden Girl? Is it the Iron Girl or the Golden Girl? We need some consistency here. All right, Evergirl. That was pretty cool, I guess. Except for the parts that weren't. It was at least an interesting concept, but once I realized that it was just the same formula repeated over and over, it kind of lost me. So what's next? Charlie Church Mouse Preschool? No. I'm sorry, but no. What else do we got? Arthur's Thinking Games? Another Arthur game? I freaking love Arthur! What the heck is up with this song? They made a game about a show with the best intro theme ever made. And instead of using that, they went with this. Arthur. Okay, I think it's frozen. Okay. 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 After a few hours, I finally got it working. Seriously, I spent hours getting Arthur's freaking thinking games to work properly. I need to rethink my life. Let's go drench. Okay, well. I got it mostly working. They also interrupt each other from time to time. It's a great day for- Ah, oh, the park. The best part is the- I think I'd rather be at the mall. I'm always- Click on someone to play with. Don't test me, Arthur. You may be my favorite, but I am not a very stable man. Okay? It may not be perfect, but it's as good as I can do. And anything's better than that looping audio from before, just trust me. Okay. So we've got five characters standing around in a park, and each one has their own game to play. First, let's try DWs. There's a dragon in the castle, and in order to get rid of him, she wants us to hit him with... Water balloons! Click on the green button to start firing! Yep, that's all there is to it. 
pretty simple. Although aiming the catapult is not that simple, it's pretty hard actually. It has the tendency to just slam over to the left or right side, regardless of how quickly you tap the mouse. But eventually you get lucky and fire! Good for you! That was fun, thanks DW. Now let's try Buster. Help me find Arthur's ones of ain't. Um. Okay. This one doesn't seem to work for me. Every time I open it, the sound cuts out completely. And then we've got... Ah, jeez. I've watched, I think, literally every episode of the show at least five times growing up, and I still can't remember this girl's name. Uh, how about... Harry... Harrietta? Yeah, sure, why not? Come along and make some music. Let's play! <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. What did I do? What did I do? Oh! 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 Make it stop! Make it stop! Make it stop! I like that. And last but not least, we've got Mr. Ratburn. Just kind of creeping over here in a park. For kids, best not to dwell on this for too long. Ratburn's game is not a game at all, it's a quiz. I'm not falling for your crap, Ratburn. This game may be ages five and up, but I assure you I'm way closer to the up. I mean, the, I'm more in the up air, I'm in the up range. I'm, an, I'm 26. I'm also not really buying these lines from Arthur either. Wow, who's playing? Come on, Arthur, where's the enthusiasm? Uh, I mean, wow, Arthur. That was so good. Unsurprisingly, this game is not that interesting, but I did find it amusing that Muffy couldn't get a single answer right. What shape has three corners? Line? A line? You're lucky your family earns 95% of the income in Elwood City because you're not getting too far in life with your intellect, clearly. Line, line, line. Good job. Let's try another. <clears throat> what at all? Um, what? What at all? What at all? What at all? Well, I know I'm not going with Muffy's answer, so... A circle? Circle. Excellent, Francine. Yes! A circle! I knew it! I used the force and I knew it! Take that and eat it with your breakfast, Ratburn! Your, your game sucks! Okay. Hey, kid, you're good. I work with money for a living. What is my job? A fireman! A fireman! A fireman! Line! Alright, what's next? Freddy Fish 2, a humongous entertainment game. This should be good. Hey Austin, it's me, a cutout of Ian's face. Remember the time we did a collab on the first Freddy Fish game? Maybe we could play the second game too. You know, over on my channel. Eh, brutal moose. I don't really want to talk to that guy. Maybe we should just keep playing some Arthur's thinking games. Fine, Freddy Fish 2 with Brutal Moose, see you there! If you want to continue this video, then click here or in the description below to watch Freddy Fish 2 on Brutal Moose's channel. And while you're at it, why not subscribe to his channel if you enjoy it? Seriously guys, let's try to get him to 300,000 subscribers. He deserves it. Don't tell him I said that. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, then make sure you subscribe so that you can see new videos when they come out. If you enjoyed this video, then why not give it a like and uh, help me share it around. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff with a link in the description below. And again, make sure you go check out the Freddy Fish 2 video with Brutal Moose on his channel. Either use the previous annotation or the link down there in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye! Oh, look at him go. <laughs> Oh, he missed it because he sucks at everything. Oh, he's up from the backside and it didn't go in because he sucks at everything again. Continues to be bad at all the things. Oh my God, look at him miss. What a terrible person. He's definitely actually like a bad person and you should not be his friend or give him credit if you're a bank because he's just gonna default on the loan. You think he paid any of his loans? No, ask default. the basketball. Default on this. Whoa, is it in? Is it in? <laughs> This is the Ian robot.
Beep.